Richardson. In 2008, uh, my wife and I had a child. He lived five months and then he passed away um, from acute myeloid leukemia. In 2010, we started our first event. Here we are today, still doing it. At one point, uh, thank you. Yeah. At one point, um, I did it for me, right? Like we didn't have nearly this many people, but to me, anybody sacrificing their weekend, anybody sacrificing, you know, 50, you know, bucks or whatever to, to come out for for my family and my son was humbling. And then, you know, um, I'm always gonna love them. There's always gonna be a hole there, but at some point you heal and you realize that uh, there's other families out there and I and John thought about it and we wanted to be able to give back to those families. So one thing that we didn't do early on that we do now is we do an honor child family. And we've been doing the honor child for seven years and uh, six of those children are still alive and fighting today. Um, four of those families are here today. So this year our family uh, is Virgil. Where's Virgil at? Hey buddy, come on up guys, come on up. <laughs> so, first off, I just want to congratulate Kate Baldrick's on 25 years of head shaving events. That's incredible. They've been with me since day one of my journey, which started 23 years ago. Uh, at the age of 15, I was diagnosed also with acute myeloid leukemia. I'm um, a sophomore in high school at the time, and when we got my diagnosis, I was given three weeks to live and a 5 to 15 percent chance of survival. I did two rounds of chemo, spent 80 days in the hospital with pretty much every side effect in the book. And luckily, I on so I was diagnosed December 12th of 2000. I went to my first round and, and spent my sweet 16, as well as Christmas and New Year's, in the hospital battling for my life. And then luckily, four days after my sweet 16, on January 17th of 2001, because of amazing people like you and the fundraising that you do, and coming out to these events and shaving your heads to stand in solidarity with us, and because of the research that St. Baldrick was able to do, I was officially declared in remission cancer-free on January 17th of 2001. And it's because of people like you, I would not have the life I have today without each and every one of you, without every penny that is raised, and without you guys reminding us that we're not alone in this fight, and that we have a support structure and a support system that will rally around us when we really need it. And it is because of you and the things you guys are doing that makes such a huge difference. I could not have done it without St. Baldrick standing by me every step of the way. They've been with me no matter what, and have stuck with me through thick and thin. And it is because of you that I'm happy to say that on January 13th of this year, I celebrated my 39th birthday, and four days later, I celebrated 23 years of being cancer-free. And that's thanks to you.